A sea of red, white, and blue inside Fairmount Memorial Park, where hundreds came to drop flowers on graves and remember those who died for our nation. The Marine captain who spoke at today's service reminded people to also remember the Gold Star families left behind. KXY Force Kyle Simchuk continues our Memorial Day coverage from Northwest Spokane. Well, it was a beautiful day at the Fairmount Memorial Cemetery. The sun was out, the cool breeze lifted more than 3,500 of these large American flags which are scattered all over this cemetery. One of the messages from today's guest speaker, be the good and kind Americans that these heroes died fighting for. Today, it's not about the living. Fire. We remember so that we don't forget what we are fighting for and who died during that fight. Many people at today's service can't ever forget the wars, the loss, and the unthinkable bravery. I lost a lot of friends in Vietnam. And uh, I almost lost my own life there, but I made it. Take a moment to think of the men and women who perished on a foreign land, often in circumstances you don't even want to imagine. Today's guest speaker, Captain Russ Ryder of the 5th Battalion, 14th Marines in Spokane. One of the best ways to honor our fallen comrades is for us to work together and to treat each other with kindness and respect. The Marine captain also reminded people to remember the families who made a different kind of sacrifice. While we remember them, let us also remember the families that they left behind, our Gold Star families. I'm very proud of everyone that was involved in here. It's beautiful. This community is wonderful when it comes to supporting their veterans. And even after today's hour-long service ended, there was a steady flow of cars and people coming from all corners of Spokane and the Inland Northwest to pay their respects. Reporting in Spokane tonight, I'm Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News.